in Kuwait, we are on the top of the scale that diabetes is coming down to the younger age. So we are in schools where we are looking at the children, we are training them what to do, and we are also making sure that they will apply this in the future so the type 2 diabetes will not be affecting them. We were fortunately able to identify funds from one of our grants that was able to institute a program that the Diabetes Institute has used beautifully to bring young Kuwaiti school children here to learn about diet, about exercise, about lifestyle changes. I played a lot of games and my favorite game was that we were playing basketball and we and we were racing with the ball and our team win because we are running fast. I learned in this class to not smoke and I want to tell my friend's father to stop smoking, stop smoking. We've been bringing students here now for six years, five or six years, and the children love it. They've been able to make things, to make things to eat, to, to play, to learn that exercise can be fun, and it isn't just sitting in front of a computer all day, that's not a good thing. We always bring students here, and we will, or we will always bring students here as long as we're allowed to. It's a wonderful opportunity for them to learn how to keep fit and healthy. We actually try and take uh, favorite food that the kids like to eat and try to recreate that in a healthier way. So whether it be by adding more vegetables to it or trying to include foods from all the different food groups in that meal, this gives a chance to be a little bit more hands-on. So when they feel like they're being more involved in creating their food, they're more likely to actually eat it. I used to make breakfast for my mom and dad. So that's why I like to give them a surprise. And here I learned, how, I learned how to make a type of breakfast. With this project, the embassy aimed to generate and increase awareness about a critical health issue here in Kuwait. Our hopes far exceeded. In the past year and a half, we had originally envisioned 18 schools to participate in this project. To date, we have done about 119 sessions, 46 schools, a range of both public and private schools, and reached over 5,000 children. So as you can see, we really um, met the expectations of the original grants, but also went beyond that as well. 